A few months ago, I made a video about focus stacking with Darktable. So I tested everything using Linux because that's the best operating system. But people tried it on Windows and Mac OS and of course, it didn't work. But because I'm a nice guy, I made it work for Windows and Mac OS as well. So if you watch this video until the end, you will be able to do focus stacking with Darktable regardless the operating system you are using. So if that sounds good for you, let's go. The first video I made about focus stacking was using the Enfuse Advanced plugin. So as you can see on the side panel, uh, it's very complicated and it doesn't work well with uh, Windows and Mac OS. So to fix that, I've created a new module I call Enfuse Sample. So as you can see, uh, there is a lot less settings, but uh, basically these are the settings we need for uh, focus stacking. So we don't need more than that. So the plugin have two menus. So uh, there is the setting menu where we can select the binary we use for uh, focus stacking. And also we have the main menu where uh, we select parameters we use for focus stacking. So the way it works is uh, you have these slider and check boxes that you can use to uh, put the settings you want, but you also have a preset. So uh, you have HDR and hybrid. So uh, these I will cover in future videos, uh, but for today's video, we will use the focus stack preset. So when focus stack is selected, the settings are automatically updated. So uh, we just have to select the pictures we want click on merge and then uh, the plugin will do its things. And voila, so once the merge completed, we have our final image that is sharp in the background and sharp in the foreground as well. Okay, so let's start with the Linux installation. So I will assume Darktable is already installed on your computer. So the first step is to install the Lua script module. So to do so, you need to make sure Git is installed on your computer. So uh, open your software manager, search for Git and install it. Once that done, you also have to install a package named Enfuse. So uh, this is what we will use to, uh, to do the focus stacking. Also, it will install some dependencies, including align image stack. So that's what we will be using to align our images before doing the focus stacking. Once everything is installed, you can start Darktable. I also like to import a library because otherwise uh, sometimes there are issues with the uh, Lua modules. So uh, you need to import a library first. Then on the bottom left corner, you click on Lua script installer and then you click on execute. So this will install the Lua script uh, module. So if you, uh, if you have installed Git before, then it should work without any issue. So uh, if you open it, you will be able to see all the default Lua script that are installed. But then uh, you need to go to install and update script. There you will have to put the link to my GitHub uh, script repository. And then you have to put a name to the folder where you want the script to be installed. So the link will be in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. So once the link is copied, uh, you need to click on install additional script. So at first it will look like nothing's happened, but uh, trust me, it did work. So if you go back to the start and stop script, then you should see the new folder you created and you will see my scripts there. For this video, we need to enable Enfuse Sample. So once enabled, it will create a new module on the right side panel. Uh, the module is called Enfuse Sample. So if you open it, the first uh, menu you will see um, is where you will be able to enter the binary paths for the Enfuse and the Align Image Stacks uh, binaries. So you can click on the small folder to search for the Enfuse package. So in my case, it was in my root directory slash bin and then uh, Enfuse was right there. Uh, then uh, you can click on the second folder to search for Align Image Stack. So it was in the same directory, so forward slash bin. When I'm in that directory, I search for uh, Align Image Stack. And uh, when both uh, binaries are selected, I click on Save Path, and that's it. Next, we can select the images we want to focus stack. Then we select the focus stack preset and we click on merge. So depending on uh, the number of pictures you have, 
uh, the the speed of your computer this might take some time so on my virtual machine it took uh, about one minute to complete the entire process so after alignment is done you should see a, a pop-up at the bottom of the screen same thing when the end fuse is completed you will see a pop-up at the end of the screen but um, uh, between these pop-up it might take some time but when everything is done you should see the stacked image that will automatically appear in your library and voila so if we look at the image uh, the raw image i use so the first one was uh, sharp in the foreground and blurry in the background and now if we look at the last picture it was uh, sharp in the background but blurry in the foreground so now if we look our stack image um, as you can see it was sharp in the background and also, it was very sharp in the foreground, so uh, the focus stack was successful. One thing you might want to do is uh, to do some pre-processing before doing the focus stack. So the focus stack is not done on uh, raw images. So uh, what the script does is it convert them into TIFF files before stacking them. So uh, because of that conversion, you might want to do things like uh, lens correction, chromatic aberration, uh, capture sharpen and things like that before doing the focus stack so i haven't played with it uh, much yet but um, i suggest you do some uh, some testing to see what works best for you so that's it for the linux installation if you have any feedback let me know in the comments okay so now let's move to the windows installation so i will assume you already have darktable installed on your computer but now the first step is to install Git. So to do so, you go on the Git website. Uh, the link will be in the video description and you download the installation file for uh, Git. So once it's downloaded, you just uh, follow the instruction to uh, install it. And uh, that's it. Once Git is installed, you can open Darktable. And on the bottom left corner, you will see something called Lua Script Installer. So open it and click on Execute. So uh, you will have a few pop-ups and uh, Darktable will install the Lua script manager. So once the Lua script is installed, I like to import pictures because there are some scripts that doesn't work uh, if there isn't any picture in the library. Once that's done, open the script manager and under action, select install update scripts. So there you have to put the URL to my GitHub uh, script repository. And then you can name the folder where you want the script to be installed. So uh, once done, click on install and that's it. Once the installation is completed, you can go back to start and stop script. And under folder, you will see the new folder you created with uh, all my scripts there. So you need to enable and fuse simple. So when you do that on the right side panel, you will see a new module called Enfuse Simple. The first menu you will see would let you choose the path for the Enfuse and Align Image Stack application we will use for uh, for our focus stacking. So now uh, we need to install uh, these applications. So open your browser and look for Ogin. Uh, you will see a link to Search Forge to download the uh, Ogin. Uh, I will also put the link in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. So uh, once uh, Ogin is downloaded you can follow the instructions to uh, to install it. So that will install uh, two things we need. So uh, the first is uh, Enfuse, and the second is uh, Align Image Tags. These are the two applications the plugin is using in the background. Once again is downloaded, you can go back to Darktable, and under the Enfuse Simple module, if you click on the first folder, uh, you will be able to select the Enfuse executable. So in my case, it was under Program File, again uh, bin and then in that folder there should be a file name enfuse so i select it and that's it next i click on the second folder and i select align image tag when that's done i click on save path and that's it so next i can select the images i want to uh, focus tag then in the module i select the focus tag preset and I click on Merge. 
So uh, the stacking process will take some time. So I believe in this virtual machine, it takes about um, one minute. So you need to be patient. So uh, after alignment is done, you should see a small pop-up at the bottom of the screen. Same thing after the, um, the focus stack is done. You will also see some terminal pop-ups. That's completely normal. So um, don't worry about that. And once stacking is completed, uh, the terminal will close and the picture will automatically be imported in your library. So if we look at the picture we use for focus stacking, so the first picture was uh, sharp in the foreground, but blurry in the background. And then the last picture was sharp in the background, but blurry in the foreground. Uh, so now if we look at our final image, we can see that it was sharp in the background and sharp in the foreground. So the focus tag was successful. Also, one quick note is you might want to do some pre-processing before doing your focus tag. So uh, the Enfuse package doesn't use your raw file. Uh, it uses a temporary TIFF file the script is creating in the background. So because of that, you might want to do things like uh, lens correction, uh, capture, sharpen, chromatic aberration. Uh, so you might want to do all these steps before doing your focus stack. Also, if you have issues when installing uh, the script, I suggest you look at the Lua troubleshooting uh, video I made. So uh, this will help you troubleshoot some issue you may have with the uh, Lua scripts. So that's it for the Windows installation. If you have any feedbacks, let me know in the comments. Okay, so now let's go with the Mac OS installation. So I will assume Darktable is already installed on your computer. So now the first step is to install the Lua script module. So to do that, we need to install Git. So uh, to do so, open your terminal and type the following comments. The comment will be in the video description so you can easily copy and paste them. So if Git was already installed, you will see the Git version uh, display on your terminal. Otherwise, uh, you will be prompt to install Git on your computer. Next, we need to install Ogin. So Ogin will come with some dependencies that we will need for uh, the focus stacking plugin. So uh, we need the Enfuse binary and we need also Align Image Stack. So uh, you can type this command to install Ogin. So again, it will be in the video description. Also to run this command, Homebrew need to be installed on your computer. So I will put some link in the description uh, with procedure explaining how, how to install it. Once again is installed, uh, you need to run these two commands. So this will prevent macOS for putting again in quarantine. And uh, we need to do that, otherwise the script will not work at all. Once that's done, you can open Darktable. So on the bottom left corner, you will see something called Lua Script Installer. So you need to click there and click on Execute. So that will install the Lua Script module. Next, you can open it, click on Action, click on Install Update Scripts. Uh, there you have to put the URL for my GitHub script repository, and then you can name the folder where you want the script to be installed. Once that's done, you click on Install. So at first it will look like uh, nothing happened, but uh, trust me, it did work. So if you go back to Start and Stop Script, you should see the new folder you created, and there you will see the Enfuse sample plugin that you need to enable. So this will create a new module on the right side panel. And that's um, basically that's the focus stacking module. Now we need to tell the Enfuse sample module uh, where to find the Enfuse package as well as the align image stack package. So uh, to do that, you click on the first folder. Uh, then you go to your application folder and you will see a folder named again. In that folder, you will see another folder named tool underscore Mac. And there you should see the Enfuse uh, binary file. Then you click on the second folder and you select align image stack. Once done, you click save path and that's it. So now it's time to import a picture to your library. Once that's done, you can select your pictures. Then you select the focus stacking preset and you click on merge. 
depending on the number of images you have, uh, this can take some time, so uh, be patient. So after uh, alignment is done, you should see a pop-up at the bottom of the screen. Same thing after the, after the stacking is completed, you will see a pop-up at the bottom of the screen. But uh, in between, it might take some time. So I believe on uh, my laptop, it took uh, approximately one minute to complete the entire process. And once the merge is completed, uh, this final stack image should automatically appear in your collection. So if we look at the first image we use for uh, stacking, so the foreground was sharp, but the background was blurry. And then the last image we use, the background was sharp, but the foreground was blurry. But now if we look at our final image, the background was sharp as well as the foreground. So the focus stacking worked perfectly. Also, just so you know, the Enfuse package doesn't use your raw images to do focus stacking. So it converts them into TIFF files. So because of that, you might want to do some pre-processing before doing your focus stacking. So you might want to do things like a lens correction, chromatic aberration, capture, sharpen. Also, if the script doesn't work well, I suggest you watch my video about troubleshooting Lua script. So this can give you a a good idea of what's happening in the background and help you troubleshoot uh, the problem. So that's it for the Linux installation. So if you have any feedbacks, uh, let me know in the comments. So I hope the video was helpful. So it took me a lot of time to work on that script and make it work for all the operating systems. So if you could give me a like, that will be really appreciated. So uh, that's it for me. See you next time.